What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this one, we're gonna be talking about how to get free backlinks to your website using two methods that I currently use to get backlinks for free so I don't pay for them. I'm Leon Angus and I regularly do affiliate marketing videos, SEO videos and website videos just like this one. So if you are brand new to the channel you may want to consider subscribing and if at any point you enjoy the content don't forget to smash the like button. All right so let's get into it. So the first method that I'm going to give you is a very easy way. Now this isn't always a good way to use purely because of the type of links that you get. So one of the links that I get to my blog is forum links, okay? So forums are not always the best way. And what you wanna do inside of forums is you always wanna genuinely participate and add valuable information to help other readers of the, of the forum benefit from your information. So you don't wanna just do it for the purpose of getting a link, okay? And the reason why is purely because if you keep doing these types of links, then you may get backlinks, but no one will click them or Google might pick up on it and start to think that it's a bit suspicious. And these are one of the ways that you can negatively impact your rankings. All right, so what you wanna do is do this with moderation, approach with caution. Now, if you don't know, there's two types of links that you can get on a website. There's do follow links and there's no follow links. So if you don't know the difference, what they are is do follow links are links that pass ranking power across to an article from one page to another page. So you can leverage a website's authority. Now, no follow links don't pass any kind of uh, authority or power across those links. So what those pages are doing when they no follow the links is they're actually indicating to search engines to not go through those links and pass any link juice, as we call it in SEO. So if we were to apply this method, what you wanna do is first of all, you wanna source a website that has a huge amount of traffic. I'm talking like massive. So whatever site is the biggest in your niche, then you wanna establish those sites and that's how you're gonna find forums. If you go to smaller sites, the likelihood of them having forum backlinks is very unlikely. Okay, so if we hop onto the computer, I'll just show you an example. So what you could do is you could actually type in like top 100 um, fishing blogs, okay? So what you could do is if you type this in, you'll see all of these websites that have like top fishing blogs, top fishing this, whatever. And what you wanna do is just pull out any of them and, and copy them. Now. You can go to several tools. I personally recommend Ahrefs for this. And what you can do is you can actually put the website into the tool, okay? And if you don't have an Ahrefs subscription, you can just obviously sign up for the free trial or I think $7 or something like that. And then when we come over here, we can go to referring domains. So we want domains and sub. Okay, so once we've got that, we can see that there's, uh, it's pulling 130,000 uh, visitors per month according to Ahrefs, which is usually off. This usually is about three times to four times as much as whatever you see here. And if you wanna cross-reference that, you can use a free Google extension tool called SimilarWeb. And for these big sites, it usually collects their data. So, okay, so you can see they're, they're almost at a million views up there and then they're coming all the way down to 294,000. You can see how I quickly just found this website very easily by just searching top 100 blogs. So now, when we actually come to this website, what you wanna do, is you wanna to go to referring domains, okay? And this will bring up all of the websites that are linking to this site. Now, the next thing what we want to do is we wanna type change link type to do follow. All right, now this also works on cheaper tools as well. You don't just have to use Ahrefs. There's one of the tools that I always recommend in these uh, tutorials, which is keysearch.co. Because of the size of these websites that we're gonna be drumming in, you'll still be able to extract data from some of the uh, cheaper tools as well, even though they don't pull as much information as Ahrefs. So if we were to go over to keysearch.co, you can see that I've just drummed in the website and it's showing 844,000 uh, do follow backlinks, all right? So let's take a look at how many we'd actually see on here. So on Ahrefs, we can only see 4,000. So you can see how skewed that information is. I don't know how accurate one or the other is, um, whether they have that many do follow links inside of this or that, I don't have a clue. But um, what you would want to do is um, we can't actually decipher by uh, do follow links on here, unfortunately, it doesn't allow you to do that. But what you can do is you just type in forum, okay? And what that does is it will then show you all of the links. And with this, it basically tells you follow on the right hand side. So you can see whether it's a do follow or no follow by this. What you can then do is just click follow at the top and then it basically brings all the do follow links to the top. So you can see here, 
that these are all do follow links from niche related forums with, within your space, okay? So this is obviously all related to, to phishing, okay? Because this is a phishing website. So if we were to click here, you can go sign up Go and do some valuable articles. I'd say like do like about five different posts on on the uh, on the uh, forum, and then within one of those, just leave a link back to your article or whatever it is that you want to get a backlink to. If we actually come over to Ahrefs, you can do the same thing. You just type forum and then it gives you the forums that they have, okay? So you can see all of these forums and these are the ones that you can go and obviously get do follow backlinks from. Another way you can do it is by typing in community because that brings up like some of these other forums as well. And then you can see the same thing here. So that's method number one is exactly how to get forum related links. All right, so method number two is gonna be looking at your competing websites backlink program profiles and then doing a manual outreach to all of their competitors that are linking to them okay so all of the sites that are linking to them on particular articles if you have any similar articles on your site then you'll be able to get the links okay now you can use you can do this with niche related sites that are of low competition that are relatively similar to yours or niche related uh, sites that are of high authority you know a lot of the time you're not going to get like free links from like da80 kind of sites so you want to slim this down to maybe like above DA10 because anything below that it's not really that beneficial to you and you want to limit it at maybe like a DA30, DA40 kind of site. So you want to pull all the information within that range. Now if you were to do this on Ahrefs it's a lot easier because you can actually export the list based on the domains and filter out the ones you don't want. But on something like Key Search it's going to be a lot more difficult to actually filter that information. So you have to export the whole list and then do an outreach campaign to actually reach out to all of those blogs. So if we were to come over to Ahrefs and we were looking at the same site that we had in the example, what you would want to do is go to their referring domains and then you just essentially want to go to do follow links and you want to export all of that information, okay? Now in regards to your outreach campaign, what you're going to want to do is do a simple email out to them basically telling them that you have written a piece of content that's very similar to what they've linked to. You're looking to, to expose your, your blog to a larger audience or an authority like themselves, okay? This is what works for me. I always follow that kind of flow. Like there's many people who share templates online. I personally think you just need to test like and see what works. If you just put a genuine email across, basically saying that, you know, you're a new blogger and you've noticed that they're an authority within the space. It's not something that you're familiar with. I kind of play a little bit of a novice. Um, sometimes they might come back and try and charge you for it in that circumstance. If you don't have the funds, as this is about getting free backlinks, then obviously in that circumstance, you won't pay them for it okay you move on to the next person but what you want to do is get all of their email addresses and the way that you get that is using a tool called hunter io okay and that's a free google extension tool you can just go to google extensions type it in hunter.io i believe it's called and that will allow you to bulk check different domains i think by 50 if you if you got like the free plan or you, and also you can just manually do it recursively again and again if you go to those websites one by one once you filter down to all of the sites that you need to do in outreach campaign to you might be left with like 50 or 30 so you've only got to go and get 30 emails and then you want to mass email them I personally just do it straight off Gmail like I mean some people would not advise that like you know you could also use something like get response if you've got a subscription there or the best thing if you have got the funds then you can use something like outreach ninja but that's like $300 a month so it's not for the average blogger watching this video okay but once you've done that you want to outreach to them let them know that link building is not something you're quite familiar with, like play the novice and just say, you know, unfortunately um, I have to do this because I'm, Google won't rank me otherwise. So I have to reach out to other authorities like yourself. And um, I was just wondering if there is any way, because I don't really have funds that I could offer some kind of value to your readers. I have uh, a bunch of uh, helpful information, or if not, I can actually create a piece of content for you. So you might have to manually do some grunt work and create some guest posts and write them for the blogs okay so that's the second way that you can actually find it now I'm gonna give you a bonus way um, which is a way that I don't always recommend because it's not always the best way but we're gonna go into the computer and I'm gonna show you one last way as well okay so the very last way that you can do this is if you actually just type phishing and you use a search operator just write for us 
you're able to find a bunch of different blogs uh, that are looking for, for people to write guest posts for them. So you can see uh, these are all phishing websites and what you want to do is find the most authoritative ones and you can come down and you can see a bunch of different sites that are looking for guest posts. Now if you actually wanted to do this in a tool, you could use the key search tool and if you go to more tools and then go to opportunity finder, you can actually look for guest posts and forums, okay? So that does all of these things that I'm talking about manually. So if we put phishing in there, it would actually go out and extract all of the relatively similar information that we just found. And then you can sort it by DA. So you can find all the highest domain authority sites that are looking for guest posts, okay? So you can see here, that's a DA95 site. You want to be a bit careful when you see ones like that if they're not an authority that you're familiar with because they might have blown up their DA with unscrupulous practice. But if we take a look at this Tumblr so you can get some do follow links from there. I don't know if they've got like some right for us section there. And then you can see that we've got a bunch of different high domain authority websites that you can go and write for and get some backlinks from, okay? And then obviously if you go to forums here, they probably got that. I have never used their forum function. So maybe you can explore and mess around with that and uh, get some more information. So you can see there's a bunch here, but they're not really related. It's all about games and things like that. It's actually the same website over and over. I don't understand why. So there you have three different methods of how to extract free backlinks and get your blog going. You can build up your authority quite rapidly by using just these methods here. As I said, approach with caution because you don't wanna be using too many easy opportunities like this, because a lot of the time when you see all these right for us kind of blogs, well, everyone else and their grandmother are getting backlinks from these type of sites. And sometimes Google might not agree with these kind of methods, okay? So approach it with caution, as I said. If you did enjoy this video, then make sure to smash the like button. If you are brand new to the channel, I regularly do videos just like this one, so you may wanna consider subscribing. I'm Leon Angus, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one, peace.